Welcome to the A&T Register Newscast. A bi-weekly video to keep A&T informed. Hello, my name is Joseph McDougall and I am the Multimedia Editor for the A&T Register. And I'm Deja Mayfield, a Multimedia Specialist with the A&T Register. And here are the stories we have for today. To begin the newscast, let's see what's happening on the yard. This month for the yard, the Chancellor's Forum announced a COVID cluster on North Carolina A&T's campus. The forum also discussed SGA, academic affairs, COVID testing, and more. The university has conducted 4,200 tests. 174 of those tests came back positive and they identify as students that are remote. However, 140 of the tests that came back positive are from students that actually live here on campus. The quarantine building, Haley Hall, is currently at 30% capacity. However, by the end of this weekend, it is set to decrease to 25%. Next for the yard, North Carolina a and has opened the Dudley Building for early voting on October 15th. The building will be operating under the Guilford Board of Elections and it will serve as a public poll location until October 31st. The operating hours will be from 8 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. The Guilford um, Board of Elections is also responsible for extending the time if the line is still long after closing time. Now let's get to some of the culturist feature stories from October. Starting off, we have Behind the Music with the Nazir 47 Roman Sims. This week's Behind the Music is with Nazir Sims, a senior journalism student, and he's also known as 47 Roman. This artist has released a new album, Where Dreams Live, which includes 14 new songs and features from Modo, Swaco, and Westside Buzzing. In an exclusive interview, he talks about parallels between his inner self and his persona, 47 Roman. Next up, a new art exhibit has opened in downtown Greensboro at the Greensboro History Museum. The art exhibit features pieces from the social protest in downtown Greensboro over the summer and artifacts from local businesses affected by the pandemic and the protest. Also, contributor Ashton Jackson interviewed Madison Murray about her podcast, The Majestic Mix. The podcast host, blogger, and ambassador is already breaking down barriers and is the epitome of book to business. Now we're moving on to the score. The MEAC has announced their first winners for their eSports League. The MEAC crowned Miles Poston as winner of the 2K20 tournament, and they also crowned Garnet Pearson as the winner of the Madden NFL 20 tournament. They each won cash prizes and their own custom MEAC game. Thanks for watching. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at the ANT Register, and also like our Facebook page. And be sure to read all the stories mentioned today at ncatregister.com. Thank you so much, and please join us next time.